this video, we're gonna create a mandala, or I like to call them doilies because mine obviously look more like doilies than mandalas. Um, and this one is only a half of one. We're gonna do a full circle. And if you don't wanna make a mandala or a doily, yours can be like a rose window in a church cathedral, something like that, whatever you choose. But the whole point is that this is such a soothing and satisfying process. Now, I recommend using a compass, measuring out some lines on your page, and then using a compass to draw you some circles. As per usual, I could not find my compass. So I used a triangle to just kind of give me some grid lines with pencil and I took my painter's tape and I drew a circle inside of that and on the outside using that one, um, I took the lid off this gelato crayon to do the center and this may not be a good idea, but I wanted to create an even smaller one than the center of the tape roll. So I'm just going to eyeball this. It doesn't matter if it's perfectly equal around. And I just moved it, so obviously it's not going to be. But I, like I said before, I tend to be pretty wonky. So this will help me. See, it's crazy. Who cares? But we're going to just create different shapes, and these grid lines will kind of help you stay a little bit in line. So I'm gonna start out by doing scallops around the center circle. And then maybe you want to come in and do teardrop shapes in between the scallops. So most of those kind of lined up with my grid lines. That one didn't, it's uneven. And then I'm gonna come in and draw more scallops out to the next circle. Didn't go all the way with that one. Then I'm gonna start out beyond the circle All right, so I'm gonna continue with scallops. What I will do is scallop shapes, teardrop shapes, leaf shapes, um, circles like these. And I'm just gonna continue just off the top of my head and I'm gonna speed up the video. And then we'll come back with our thin micron pen to add in some details. Okay, so I'm going to stop with this. And if you can see, I have some of them on the lines, but right from the start, I was off. So that's why these grid lines will help you. It's definitely wonky, but it's still quite satisfying. And if you want to just go on off your paper with your creation, then go right ahead. But I'm going to come back in now with my thinner micron pen and I'm going to start adding in some details.
Okay, I'm gonna stop. I think that you get the idea. And seriously, this is so therapeutic that you could just go on and on. So I wanted to show you, like right here, I realized I had accidentally used my thick pen on this one, where it should have been on this one, so I came back in, and then I added some black dots, but you can see the extra little line work, and it really does look like a doily of some sort. So just play around with this. I might play around with it a little bit more, but once again, it's a good way to just let yourself unwind and de-stress from a crazy, hectic day.